2011 Apex is brand new. Um, the casting is the same, but all of the interns are different. We have a longer intake track to help low RPM power. We have new valve timing that's going to help flow more air at high RPM, so make it more peak horsepower. And to bridge the gap to really, really make this engine trail friendly and, and give it usable power, we're engaging Yamaha's exclusive Exup technology. I mean, a corner cornered acceleration on that thing is, you know, they'll stand your hair up. I mean, it, it uh, the combination of the longer track, more horsepower, more torque, I should say. We don't know the horsepower numbers yet, but just the torque, extra traction, the combination together, oh, it's great. Got a little, to me, I, when I got on it, I, it felt a little bit spunkier on the bottom end. Um, top end, I mean, it, it didn't feel a whole lot different than the other apexes, but getting there felt a lot different when you hit it out, and it, it felt to me smoother. The engine braking even felt to me a lot smoother than on the older Apexes in the Attack. 2011 Apex has the industry's first electric power steering system. What it does is it's a mechanical steering system with an electric motor assist. So it senses vehicle speed, it senses torque input on the handlebar, it senses the voltage in the assist motor and also the assist motor speed. It takes those four elements combines it, calculates, and delivers the, the, just the right amount of power assist so you have a smooth, natural, comfortable feeling steering effort from zero miles per hour all the way up to top speed. Uh, you, you say to yourself, uh, what do I need power steering for? Frankly, it was pretty cool once uh, we got some time on it yesterday um, on the Apex. They've added some trail to the front end, which normally would be a bad thing for ease of steering, but with that power steering, um, it works really well because it makes the sled corner well. It uh, is very stable at speed, uh, but when you go into the corners and you need to, to turn it, it's just, it's effortless. The power steering on the new Apex is, in one word, phenomenal. Uh, you you get on it and it's, and it's instant, you know that there's you know, virtually no effort in steering that sled. One of the first things I noticed about the power steering on the new 2011 Apex, very easy, very effortless. It, uh, it is unbelievable. It's one of those things that you really got to get on it and experience it for yourself. Um, I noticed coming off of, you know, riding a lot of other Apexes, uh, the steering's a little bit, it's harder steering. Um, you know it in the corner, you feel planted, and this one, getting onto this new Apex with the power steering, it, at first it almost made me feel a little uneasy because the steering was so light, I didn't feel like the front end was planted, and I was questioned whether it would actually make the corner. It took one corner to realize that it is connected to the ground, and that thing just rails. I think some more time on it, you'd really get used to it, and I think you'd have a hard time going back to another sled that didn't have the power steering. It does take some getting used to. I found uh, a, a lot less feedback from the skis. I'm used to feeling every bump and jolt and, and movement of the chassis and that power steering takes a lot of that out of it so you have to uh, adjust your riding style a little bit but you know it only took a few minutes to get used to it and then uh, it was off and going and uh, very very interesting concept and uh, frankly you know if you're going to be be going for you know long miles day 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 after day kind of a thing it's uh, it's probably going to be really worth its weight in gold we have three packages for the 2011 apex we have the base model which uses coilover springs and hpg shocks in the front and also the standard monoshock 2 suspension geometry in the rear at 128 inch length for the longer track uh, we also have an SE version, the Apex SE is the industry's first all air suspension on a trail sled. We have Fox Float 2 shocks up front, and we have the brand new Fox Mega Float in the rear suspension. And the final version of the Apex that we have is my personal favorite, the Apex XTX, which has coilover springs in the front with HPG shocks, but it has the 144 inch CK rear suspension, the same as on the Nitro XTX, with the 6 degree tip up on the back and a clicker shock on the rear arm. Well, they made a change to the seat. Um, I was very excited about that because on the previous Apexes, it's one of the areas I think they needed to get the seat lifted up a little bit higher. They raised it up a couple inches. It's better. I think it still could go another two inches higher. This certainly, from a you know starting standpoint, is feels a lot better on the body and the knees. It's it's just you can they're definitely they're claiming you can ride all day, ride longer. That is true. You can ride longer and you are not fatigued by the end of the day. 300 miles a day, no problem.